For at TV, the world is thinking. Okay, I have a project to show you. For those of you who can see this, and Rachel, you already know what it is. You can't, if you're here, you can't say anything. Who would like to venture a guess at what this is? A bag? A rain pacho? A dog? Yep. I've heard a thermos. What was that? I didn't hear that. A diaper. That's <laughs> for oh diaper changing pad. Oh, that's a, well, that makes more sense. <laughs> um, what many what many people don't realize is that it is an incubator for premature babies who were born in places like Nepal. It was a student project um, in our extreme affordability class. Oops. In our extreme affordability class. Um, they were working with a, um, a partner in Nepal. And that extreme affordability class focuses on challenges in the developing world. And this partner challenged them and gave them a very specific um, problem, and that is we need a lower cost incubator. Now, the way our students went about this project is they went first to Nepal and spent time with the families and the doctors who were experiencing this challenge to gain empathy for what they were going through. And by being there, they learned something very important, and that is, in the empathy phase, um, something that they couldn't necessarily see when they were thinking the project through at home. And that is the babies who were born prematurely were not born um, in near the cities where all the incubators were. They were born in the rural areas. And then when they got that insight, they realized that they didn't need to design a better, a less expensive incubator, they just needed to find a way to keep babies warm. And that small reframe of the problem statement opened up a wide range of alternatives that they had otherwise not seen. And the best solution was this little sleeping bag that had a pouch for a phase change material that you could throw in a boiling pot of water to raise its temperature. And then instead of the temperature dropping like this, like most materials, it would hold the temperature for a long period of time before dropping off, exactly what the baby need. These students have since launched a company called Embrace and have already offering a $25 alternative instead of a $20,000 incubator to the 20 million babies who are born prematurely in conditions like this. Yay! Yeah. <laughs>